In this snip, we are going to look at how we can assign licenses for specific services in Office 365 using PowerShell. Before we dive in, a couple of prerequisites. You need to have the Microsoft Azure AD module for PowerShell and the Microsoft Online Signing Assistant in order to be able to connect to Office 365. And I've provided you with the link, so go and check it out. With regards to the permissions, you need to be a global admin or at least a user management admin. And for your information, the script will be available on the TechSnips GitHub repo and I've provided you with the link, so go check it out if you need the script. Now let's dive in. I've already used the get credential commandlet and I've provided my username and password. Now we need to use the connect MSOL service to connect to Office 365. To retrieve a list of all the licensing plans that we have in our tenant, use the get MSOL accounts queue. And we can see below that I have three licensing plans in my Office 365 tenant. I have Visio, I have the enterprise pack, which is the Office 365 plan E3, and I have Project Pro as well. For this demo, we are going to take the enterprise plan E3 as an example. So we're gonna need to narrow down to this particular licensing plan and retrieve all the services that we have. And for this, we're gonna use the get MSOL accounts queue, and we're gonna pipe this to the enterprise pack. Then we're gonna use the for each object to retrieve the service status. So you can see below that for this enterprise pack licensing plan, we have forms, we have power apps, we have teams, SharePoint, Exchange, which are successfully provisioned. And for Intune and Yammer, you can see pending activation or pending input, but it will always be like this. So don't worry about that. Now it's time to choose which services we want to assign to each user. In our case, we are going to assign Exchange, SharePoint, Teams, Skype for Business, and the Office apps. To do this, we need to use the new MSOA license options, provide the account SKU ID, which is what we've seen earlier, your tenant name and the licensing plan. And under the disabled plans parameter, we need to enter everything that we do not want to activate for the user. So in this case, we do not want planner, we do not want forms, power apps, and so on. And we're gonna store all this in the services to assign variable. So let's run that. I'm not gonna show you how to assign different services to one user, because frankly, it would be faster to log into the admin center and just choose your user and assign the services that you wish to. And remember that PowerShell is for automation. So we are going to assign different services to multiple users. And for that, we are going to import a CSV file, provide the location of the CSV file. And let me show you the CSV file that I have. So it's a very simple CSV file. I only have the user principal name and the country, which is the usage location. And the usage location is very important if this is the first time that you license a user. Otherwise you'll get an error when you run the PowerShell script. We are also gonna store into a variable, the account SKU ID, which is the enterprise pack and look for each user. We first gonna make sure that we assign the country as usage location for the user. And so for this, we are going to use the set MSOL user, provide the user principal name and reference the country from the CSV file. If you have already given a user a license and it's only a change that you are making, then you would not need to run this commandlet. And finally, we use the set MSOL user license. We provide the user principal name and we add the licenses. This one is my Office 365 account SKU variable with the account SKU ID property. And for the license options, I'm using the services to assign variable to reference to the disabled plans. Let's run this. And now that it's done, let's check out in the portal. So from the users that I have in my tenant, nobody was licensed. Now I'm gonna refresh the page. Now I can see that they have a license, an enterprise E3, 
but we want to see if the services that we have chosen before are now applied properly. So I'm going to choose one user and I'm going to click on edit. Expand the Office 365 E3 menu. And we can see that we have only activated Teams, Office Pro Plus, Skype, SharePoint and Exchange. And there you have it. This is how you assign specific services to Office 365 using PowerShell. Thank you for watching.